let's check this out Yeah, lots of bikes. Um, here you can see a few bikes with the, how do you call it again? Is it the uh, gone ship <laughs> color scheme right here? Beautiful colors. And over there you have uh, a couple of Pan Americans. And then uh, what else do we have? Yeah, many Pan Americans right here. I don't know these are all plated so they seem to be demo bikes and uh, further down there you have some more bikes all the various models I believe that they they have on their lineup lots and lots of bikes as far as the eye can see this is right behind you see the sturgy sign right behind You have a GS and a Harley. Alright guys, let's cross the street here. I think they're closed here also. But since they have so many bikes, we can watch from a distance. I actually see people in there, but they might be closed since the rally is not yet on. You can see how much one of these will run you. That's a 2018 Limited. More van life people. That seems to be from Arizona. Oops, this one is gone, sold. And this would run you fourteen thousand dollars. And this is a twenty twenty running twenty four thousand. Back there, you have the more expensive Harleys. Uh, they have them under the canopy in case it starts to rain or you have any kind of uh, hail. This is a 25,000 trike. Another trike glide for 29,000 and this is a 2017 with a 107 cubic inch motor. It's a uh, Milwaukee 8. And this one is 37,000. Another tri glide. And this is Rumble On, the place where you get BS for three dollars and cash for your bike. Thirty-two thousand for this one, and uh, last time I was here, they say they have no dealer fees. Twenty-seven thousand for this one, the Strike Glide, and it's a twenty fifteen.
good. Uh, I see they have a big space back there, which they did not have before. So I hope somebody is not buying up all the bikes <laughs> before the rally even starts. Here is 37,000 for this very beautiful 2019 Harley. 117 cubic inches. And it's a CVO, as you guys can see. Uh, some of you mentioned in the comments that the, the prices are actually par for the course. Uh, for me, I thought that they were quite cheap. And this is a very beautiful windshield. This will give you maximum protection as you go down the street, down the road. Yeah, those Hondas, they sound so efficient. It's almost like they have no soul. And here we have a Polaris. I've seen many of these, they look so narrow. Um, I think they will really fit in a tight trail. They are very, very narrow. Let me stand in front so you guys can see what they look like. This one comes with lockers, electronic lockers. It has a... Uh, an aftermarket uh, indicator kit it's got a sound bar right there at the top you guys see how narrow it, it looks but it works for some people it will fit into those tight trails and it has a winch up front to pull you out So bikes, 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 as far as the eye can see. And let's continue here. I think they're open late. And it seems to be a bike club that's meeting here. This is Rumble Long. And carbon is set over there for your um, seats. Class A diesel pusher with a toy hauler. <laughs> 